In this paper of Brain, we reported the results of gene therapy using adeno-associated viral vector for six patients with ADC deficiency. Patients showed a remarkable improvement of motor function and also cognitive and verbal function. Aromatic and amino acid decarboxylase AADC deficiency is an autosomal recessive neurotransmitter disorder caused by defects in the DDC gene coding for AADC. Adeno associated virus AB type 2 uh, derived from the non pathogenic virus. AB vectors transduce neurons efficiently for a prolonged time without significant toxicity. We have been developing gene therapy using AB vectors for neurological diseases, including Parkinson's disease. We apply the same strategy to ADC deficiency. All the patients received infusion of the vector in the bilateral abdomen by stereotactic surgery. Single bar hole was trepanned in each side of the skull, and the vector was injected via two tracks in such route. In total, 200 microliter solution contained 2 times 10 to the power 11 vector genome was injected into the brain. Patients with AADC deficiency show autonomic dysfunction characterized by impairment of the sympathetic system. They often show symptoms like orthostatic hypotension, hypoglycemia, or hypersalivation, and so on. These complicate perioperative managements, especially anesthetic managements. In this open label phase 1 2 trial, six patients were enrolled, five patients with severe phenotype who were not capable of voluntary movement or speech, and one girl with a moderate phenotype. After gene therapy, all patients showed improvement of motor functions. All patients with severe phenotype are able to control their head, and three patients were able to walk with the walker. Lung and painful dystonia attack disappeared in all patients. Their quality of life improved remarkably. Regarding the motor scale, AIM scores of all patients gradually improved. Younger patients tend to show superior improvement to older patients with the same or similar mutations. We will show the movies of patient 2 with severe phenotype. Before gene therapy, she could not move voluntarily. At one month after treatment, she was able to roll over with support. At six months after treatment, she had started to work with the worker. At one year and four months after treatment, she was able to eat orally. At two years after treatment, she could walk with the walker more smoothly. When I saw her at first, she was very hypotonic and could not hold her head. After diagnosing her as ADC deficiency, we have tried several medicines. MAO inhibitor improved her conditions and she became to be able to stand with support. However, her symptoms were not improved after that, so the family decided to have a gene therapy. Before gene therapy, she could sit for a few minutes and could walk several meters with support. The evaluation of the cognitive function, patient 3 showed a remarkable improvement in her developmental quotient score. Before treatment, her language sociality score was 40. And after two years, it improved to 84 within normal range. To qualify the expression of the AADC enzyme in the putamen, we conducted a FMT PET scan. 
FMT is known to be a substrate for AADC. An advantage of FMT is that it has a high affinity for AADC, which provides a high spatial resolution PET image. Our PET examinations showed that before treatment, the putamen of all patients did not show any significant signals. After gene therapy, we found a high signal intensity in the biota of putamen. These results indicate the successful expression of the AADC enzyme. ADC gene transfer into putamen for ADC deficiency using AB vector was safe and effective. Improvement was better in younger age and milder gene mutation with remnant enzyme activity. Putamen targeted gene therapy improved motor functions. Addition to that, emotion, cognitive, and speech function were also improved. Not only the motor loop, other cortical basal ganglia loop might be activated. We are developing gene therapy for other inherited diseases.